And now, your mama knows. This is the Sandy and Anthony show. I'm Sandy. And I'm Anthony. And we're here to talk about quite a few topics, actually. So earlier, Anthony put on Facebook, you know, suggestions for topics for tonight's show. And we got about, what, about four different things we could talk about. So we're just going to briefly go over each one and let you guys chime in on each one. Maybe do like, what, 10 minutes each or something? You know, we'll figure it out as it yeah. goes on. But um, we figured it'd be a little different to just cover a few things instead of just one thing. So that's what we're doing. What do you want to start Bam. with? Bam! Well, before we start with that, I just want to throw out there, thank everybody for tuning in because it passed our heads. But last week actually made the one-month anniversary of this show. So I can't believe we've been doing this for four weeks straight. So that's pretty cool. Didn't even think about that. So uh, just want to say thank everybody because the reason why we're doing it is to make it like a virtual hangout every Thursday nights where we get to chat it up with everybody. And uh, we love it. We wouldn't be doing this if it was just us. Well, we probably will be sitting in the room talking about the same stuff. But it's cool to be talking about it with you guys. So just want to say thank you for making this Week number five, episode five times, five times. Okay. All right, anyway. So, look, I asked the people, what should we talk about? And I got a bunch of feedback, so I want to go into the proverbial bag. And my boy Dave said, see, look, you need some glasses. I see you trying to squint. Uh, no, this light is bothering me. Really? Yeah, it's like weird, the shadow on my face. Oh, Jimmy. From your, your light? Or no, your one? light. Oh. <laughs> like, uh, why is it like oh, no. putting shadows on it? I just put on the... Uh... That's better. It's better? Yeah. So Dave said, thank you guys. means a lot coming from you guys especially. Yeah, man. Well, hold up. Let's Let's drink to that. You got your drink? Drink to Dave's engagement. Cheers. All right. Salud. All right, now that we got that out the way, so let me ask you guys. Actually, let's start off with something funny. I seen something on Facebook the other day, and it said, what's some of the most irresponsible things you could buy <laughs> with your <laughs> stimulus check? And I couldn't help it, but I was like, well, my wife actually bought a pool today. So just picked it up today. <laughs> she actually bought a pool yesterday. Hey, if we're gonna be stuck in the house for the summer, I'm prepared. We are gonna be enjoying our summer over here. <laughs> She's been trying to get me to get another pool for forever, so this was her chance to be like, "But we got some money, so we might as well just go buy a pool." I'm like, "What?" And she bought a pool. So four foot deep. 18 inches around. Yeah, so. That thing is going, going, You just said going. 18 inches around. Yeah, 18 wide. Inches, you said. Well, I mean, feet wide. <laughs> Was that just for one of our feet? <laughs> yeah, we're going to dip one foot. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. I just wanted to see, and Dave trying to be funny. But, um, all right, cool. So, um, but that was funny. So, as we go along, because we're going to read everybody's comments, you guys could chime in with some of the most irresponsible things. Look, Frank said he can agree with my cool choice. It works. Yeah, whatever. Frank just want to come over and put his feet in. He can. But, Him and Nikki can come over and swim anytime. But you guys let us know some of the, as we go along, some of the most irresponsible things you could do with your stimulus check. Like somebody I know. Hold on, hold on. No. <laughs> you want to know the most irresponsible thing I've seen on Facebook? And it's one of our friends. What's that? So, we had somebody, and if he gets on the show tonight, you'll know him as Jose. <laughs> he said he would give his whole stimulus check away to the best-looking boobs if they inbox him pictures of their boobs. Listen, strip clubs are locked down, you know? So you got to have alternatives. Listen, listen, Linda. Honey. Scott, see, Scott, Scott's on, on the same wavelength as me. Listen. What? You got free pornography. What do you right. need a picture of somebody's boobs for? You can look up a hundred different pictures of good-looking boobs on the Internet. Well, it is pretty true. I guess you could just go to porn.com, you know, and, it's and free. see more than boobs. And it's free. 
And it's free. You ain't even got to waste your stimulus check to see it. <laughs> it's a strip club sound like my friend John. Yeah. <laughs> so what about, uh, Sandy, you want to tell the people about our uh, your COVID-19 uh, birthday party? You throwing this uh, club COVID-19? Is what you're calling it? Listen, this? listen, they're going to see it live when you film it, man. You can't okay, my bad. Live. Never mind. Well, guys, we're going to have a treat for you on Saturday. So, you know, we'll be coming live from club COVID-19. COVID-19. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, <laughs> um, so someone said, uh, my buddy, John B. Washington, uh, makes the best homemade pizza in the world. You can read what, what Dave just said. said and Sandy, you could have gotten a kiddie pool for little Anthony to do laps in last night. I saw. Yeah, this guy, man. I was waiting for somebody somebody to go there. <laughs> um, so my boy John B. said, uh, we could talk about the uh, psychological, emotional, and financial effects of the coronavirus. So that's a little bit serious. So we could, we could jump into that a little bit. Um, financially, I'm going to touch that. Um, so I will say this. Our President Trump came in handy because uh, I got laid off of my job yeah, from my I job. Yeah, I got a pool. He's my sugar daddy now. <laughs> I got, seen all the memes? <laughs> Trump I got, now your sugar daddy. <laughs> I got laid off uh, on the 24th of March, and that's going on a month. And uh, what's up, Tanner? And um, I have yet to get unemployment. Like, they still... When I go to check for unemployment, stuff's are inactive. So my money is running low. So stimulus packet is not like, I know they want to help reshape the economy, so to speak, but I can't use it for buying TVs and swimming pools like some people I know. I actually had to use it to pay bills because I'm still not. Hey, 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 I use some money to pay bills too. I'm just saying, but you still got a regular job where you can use that, your regular money. Yeah. So I'm not actually getting any income at all. So financially, I want to touch on that. So, um, you know, if any of you guys have any psychological, emotional, or financial uh, uh, effects. Scott said he's still getting paid, thank God. Me too. I'm an essential worker, so. Hey, so, uh, Scott, send some of that money my way. You know, you, you could, uh, you know, donate a little son, son. You know what I'm saying? And Dave said you already knew it would have been him without the kiddie pool. Definitely. Um, what about emotional, though? I know there's a bunch of people who um, was Suffer supposed from to... from depression and anxiety and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know, like people are sitting in the house and it's driving them a little crazier than the normal person mm -hmm. because they need interaction yeah. for them wanna... not to fall depressed. Or, mm -hmm. you know. well, I want to say what's up to Ray and want to say up um, to, uh, well, both Rays actually. And um, Monster Ray, I'm going to hit you up, man. I need some work done on my house. So maybe you can hook me up when this crazy thing is over with. You know, I could shoot you a good price. All right, we got a couple comments. All right. Let's see. So did, you already All right, the so yeah, after, so after that. Yeah. So we got left my ass off, Scott Rogers. Then mm -hmm. we got Tish said, no, he didn't. We finna to pay this money back after taxes like welfare. Actually, they said we don't have to pay the money back. Yep. Um, Dave said Trump's still an asshole. Hold on, and whoever pays welfare back? I never heard of not one person ever paying welfare back. If you're frauding them or you make a whole lot of money, they'll yeah. try to come back for your stuff. So I guess that's right. Um, Nikki said, you're married, you share. Uh, Nikki said, yep, me. And you just hit the button. Frank said, I agree, Dave. Trump is an asshole. Hey, I didn't say I like Trump. I just said he gave us some free money, so hey, my listen, sugar daddy now. Listen, man, I'm giving the man credit. I want him to send me another check. Uh, Scott Rogers said, it's terrible. Thank God my local park is open. I run five miles almost every day. I thought all the parks are supposed to be shut down. Oh, that's cool. And Dave said, and don't be mad when you're owing 1200 when next year tax time comes. Yeah, it's not. payback will happen. Yeah, no, well, so the way they did it was the relief isn't for you to pay the taxes back. Um, so... But um, either way, if I had to pay it back, it still can't. It's coming in handy right now. Like I need that money, so I would rather get it now and have to pay it back if that was the case because I need it. You know. Uh, Monster Ray said, "Send more money." Exactly, send more money because guess what? Yeah. We're gonna need it if they keep this shutdown going on. So. Yeah. Yo, Monster. Listen, man. I need some work done on my house. All right. Don't forget that. We need a roof. The squirrels are getting in. 
There ain't a whole All roof. All right, we don't need the whole roof, but we need our roof Listen, fixed. The squirrels in, are getting in. Inbox me and we can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we know you're handy. We see your work on Facebook uh-huh. all the time. Man, I got the best we, work we in the neighborhood. Use, we can use some help. Yeah. <laughs> really and bad. I see, uh, my boy Scott said he lived in uh, PA, yeah. Um, so I guess the Pennsylvania parks are open. Okay. I feel like Pennsylvania was the most strict state in the and area. And Dave said, don't be surprised, he always lies, and that's just another one. I mean, either way, like Anthony said, if he is lying and you got to pay it back and you right. raise your taxes or take it out of your income tax, what can you really do about it? The yeah, government's I mean, going to do what they want to do at the end of the long day. Long story short, there's some people who... So, I feel like it's weird, right? So, the, I feel like the people who are still working should actually get extra money. Because I feel like I'm just sitting at home hoping unemployment but if my unemployment was coming through then i feel like why are you giving me extra money because i'm sitting home doing nothing i feel like the people who are still working you guys deserve the extra money but um but either way um i appreciate the money because i need it in order to pay my bills because i'm um, not getting any money monster said he's got us he's he said we're family so. appreciate it man and box anthony after the show and he'll let you know what we need um but Dave said it's just not enough. Yeah, Dave said it's not enough. And you're right. It's honestly 1200 if he's only going to do a one-time thing, is not going to be enough for people to survive. But I will say if this. If he did it a monthly thing. Yeah, but I will okay. I will say this. Look how many people who are getting it that don't need it. So. I mean, that's true. But you know. here's the thing. They're giving it to... Well, I think they have an income limit or something like that, or if you what? file your taxes. I don't know how it goes, but they have some kind of limit to it. But they're giving it to people in good faith that they're going to put it back in the economy or well, yeah, they're going to yeah, be able obviously. to pay their bills. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Even if you got it and you didn't need it, you're going to go spend it somewhere. No, yeah. I mean, that's definitely the thing is that you want Look, I spent it on a pool. Yeah. So you, you gave money to Walmart, and that's helping, you know, that's how. Long story short, if we're spending money, it's helping because it's taxes, you know. And, um, you know, period. So, but, you know. Okay, let's see. So, Dave said it's just not enough. We read that. Melissa said PA is supposed to start opening things up May 1st. And Scott said PA is pretty open, just not businesses. Tish said, but the people that don't have jobs next year are still are helpless. They may not can pay back, but that's not here nor there. Uh, Ray Stone said, sup, showing you love. Yeah, man. Thanks, Ray. I appreciate it. Tish said, shit, my beauty supply store ain't open. Got to buy hair and shit off the damn street. And Frank said, more toilet paper. Hello. <laughs> hey, Tish, don't worry. Just come over. I'll do you here. I got you. I'll have you looking like Dora, 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 the no, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. My girl, Andrea Phillips, Dockery. What's up, lady? Um, yeah, I mean, but hold, let's make this clear. I'm pretty sure we're not paying this back because I think a lot of people have the misconception that this money is supposed to be paid back. Now, if something crazy happened and we had to pay it back, but, um, we're not supposed to be paying this money back. Long story short. So, oh, we as, far, see. as far as you know, right? You yeah. too. Um, I think we can move on to the next topic. I think we've right, cool. a lot of time. So, um, well, let me ask you this. We spoke a lot about financially, but is there anything emotional? Or... I said emotional. No, no, I'm talking to them. Uh, is there anything emotional or psychological you guys want to add before we move on to um, what, how the coronavirus is going that people are handling it or going through? And, um... Dave said, hell yeah, I'm mandated to go to work because we're considered to be essential. So no matter what diseases that are out there or in the prisons, we still have to step into the belly of the beast with without hazard pay. Gotcha. That's, hey, listen, Dave, we appreciate you and everything, you know, you're, doing. And everything you're doing. Uh Monster said, Amber L. Hughes, where are you at? Hey, yo, uh, Monster, she never comes on the show. What's wrong with that girl? <laughs> and Tish said, I ordered a stripper pole, sex toys, and a dinosaur inflatable outfit with my stimulus check. LOL, just just saying. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen, the more power to you. We've got people buying pools, so why not buy a stripper pole? Getting ready for when business pick back up, right, Tish? <laughs> 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 All right, so let me move on, guys. Um, So, uh, let's see. Frank. Frank. 
but this was Frank's thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Frank was uh, wanted us to touch on what's your favorite vacation place and why, okay? Or what's the strangest thing you've ever did? Oh, and Nikki said, like, the emotional stuff with coronavirus. She said Frank works all day, and she feels alone. So loneliness, no one to talk to. And listen, Sandy, her job was super busy, and we're both home, but she's working all day, and I felt the same way. I'm like, man, I feel like she's not even speaking to me because she's so working busy. all day. I was you know? consumed because we were, at, we were at deadlines, and everything with my job has to do with government stuff and elections, so... I can't go too much into detail, but I had deadlines to meet, so I was working overtime, mm-hmm. I was working weekends, I was working late hours. And she didn't care about me! She didn't care! I'm sitting there crying! I needed somebody! And what did she do? She works! She works! She works! But what about me? Sorry. Sorry, guys. He's a liar. But he did miss me. And I want to say we love you too, Dave. Uh, also, guys, wait a minute. Let's pause for a minute. You guys are forgetting that my birthday was just last Monday. So let's give another shout out for my birthday. Uh, 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 uh. Well, well, they're about to see you live on Saturday for the the after party. All right. Well, <laughs> anyway, just saying, I'm now 44 years old, like my brother Dave. So just wanted to give a shout out to myself. You know. <laughs> And Scott said Montana, the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Yeah, so here's the thing. I think we both could agree. Our favorite vacation was Mexico for our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And we had so much fun. The weather was great. The food was was just awesome. So that's our favorite place. Like, um, if we could go back in a heartbeat, we would be there. And Nikki said, I told her to give you my number so we could chat. I tried to give him your number. He was... No, please. Yeah, listen, I don't want to I want to harass you. But um And Scott said happy birthday. Thanks a lot, Scott. I appreciate that, man. So, we are Hold on. Love y'all. Keep it up. Monster said this is really awesome to be able to chat about the situation. Yeah. Got to head out to help a friend. You're always helping somebody. That's what's up. Yeah, You're man. Really good at like helping people out and taking care of people. And we appreciate you. And um we'll be talking to you soon about getting some help from you also. Definitely. So All thanks right, man. for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Frank said Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, man. So that's what, Frank, have you been to Hawaii before? Like, we never been there, but we really, really, we was that close to going for our uh, honeymoon, but we ended up doing I Mexico. I really, really, right. really want to still go to Hawaii, and we will go once we don't have any children. <laughs> yeah, right? So that's um, definitely something we're going to do one day. That's right. 44 Club. <laughs> Sandy, wait till you get to be in the 44 Club. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, you don't think you're going to ever get there? Not, not anytime soon. Got seven years for that. Oh, stop it, Nikki. Aw. Oh, wow, Frank said he, okay, so yeah, that's definitely where, one place we want to go, too. Um, yes, Hawaii would be definitely one place that I've always dreamed of going to vacation at. Oh, I said I was an early graduation freshman. That's cool. Uh, Graduated okay. from, uh, okay, Votech, got gotcha. you. High school. Um, now, Frank, your second part was, um... Strangest thing you ever did. Right. Or wackiest thing you ever did. He also kind of um, brings it like that. Man, I did a lot of strange and wacky things in my life. So, <laughs> I'm trying to think what would be the top wacky and strangest thing I did. I don't even know. But, okay, here's a quick story. One time... Oh, wait, read uh, Hold on. Tristan Tish first. Says, my strangest thing, I picked up a pizza and was super excited to eat it. I put it in the passenger seat of my car and said something along the lines of, I'm going I'm going to take you home and fuck you up. <laughs> I'm going to take you home and fuck you up. I then realized that my window was open and so was the window of the car next to me. The driver had watched and heard me talk dirty to my pizza. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, man, that was great. And Frank, uh, oh. Nikki said, Frank and I have never taken a trip. Well, listen, gotta, when, when this whole thing is over with, there you go. Um, so strangest thing I did, wacky, wackiest thing I did. So uh, once upon a time, I, I was really young at the time. I was like 19, and I was dating this girl. And so... 
Um, things, I'll just, brief story, things ended really bad. So myself was like, oh, I want to go talk things out, right? So I got on the bus with my buddy. We went out to where she lived at, which was like 40 minutes away. We got there, and her mom was there. And her mom was like, listen, she's not here, but her dad is coming home. He's not an angry man, but he does own a gun. And I'm like, well, you know, we can still talk it out. And my buddy was like, uh, did you hear what she said? I'm like, yeah. And she was like, he's not an angry man, but he owns a gun. And it's just flying over my head. And I'm sitting there insisting that I want to talk things out. I want to try to figure things out. Because plus she had something of mine that I wanted to get back. And um, that was just really wacky. And it, it got crazy to the point where uh, the cops was called. <laughs> and we was escorted to the bus uh, terminal, like the cops put us in the paddy wagon, drove us to the bus stop, and was like, you guys better get on that bus, we're going to make sure, and it was just a wacky story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dave said, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, I can't think of any, like, really strange. You could so was wacky when you said you was young and you, you and your friends went to go see that guy on the boat. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> That's probably the, the wackiest thing I heard you ever tell me. So me and my friend, we were probably about 16, and she was talking. This was back when you had dial-up, AOL, all right? She was on one of them little AOL chat conversation mm -hmm. things for single people, and she met some guy. I think he was 18 or 19, mm -hmm. something like that, and he had money, and he owned a boat, and his parents were rich, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So he convinced her to meet him and go out on his boat. And, of course, she needed a backup right. to come with her. So us being dumb and naive, oh, yeah, I'll go with you on the boat by ourselves and not tell anybody where the hell we're going. And, and have my out, mom said, worry right? about us. We right. didn't sneak out. We just didn't tell my mom where okay. we were going and didn't come home so late. So my mom was, like, worried to death because she had no clue where right. we were. And, obviously, we are on the boat. And back then, uh, you didn't have a cell phone. That really had good service like that. We had like the little Nokia phones, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we didn't have service out in the middle of the water on a boat. So my mom had no clue where we were, and we could have got raped, killed, or murdered and thrown overboard. But yeah, that's probably the craziest, strangest, wildest thing I ever did. <laughs> well, one of the wackiest things I did is when I threatened little Chad's uh, naked Chad's life in my purge, uh, my 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 purge. Um, explanation last week and also what's up melanie and what's up josh um yeah i mean guys if you have any the wackiest or strangest things you did story um throw it out there uh <laughs> especially <laughs> what tish said um she was talking dirty to her pizza. talking dirty to her pizza so <laughs> what we got uh one more yep so you know what i think it's time for mm-hmm all right, let's do it. Well, Dookie, what's you got to say tonight? Well, Daisy, it's good to see we're back in the house or back on the saddle. If you've never seen us or met us before, I'm Duke and she's Daisy and we're Daisy and Duke. Right? That's right. Does, does, it, does it go with Daisy and Duke or should it be Duke and Daisy? This is Daisy Duke, boy. Daisy right. Duke. Like the Daisy Duke show. All right, gosh darn Daisy Duke. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about all kinds of stuff, but they might want to hear about your story about this little hole in your wife's feet or right here. Tell them what I did to you, how you got that hole. Well, so this is what happened, right? I was coming around the corner. I said, Daisy, I'm going to crack your barrel if you don't make sure my food is ready. And if you don't make sure my clothes is hung out in the back. So she goes to grab on me. You know how women do when they, they see a body. They go to grab. So she grabbed me and she starts hearing. And I'm like, Daisy, what you doing there? So I had to tie up my whole uh my whole shirt there because she's crazy. So she right in the back, you know, in the, the back where we got... So we got like a, a shed. Well, it's not really a shed, but it's like a uh it's like a plastic thing we put things in. And so she go rip and grab at my clothes and tear it up and she's ready to go. I was 
going to crack your barrel. No, she wasn't trying to crack my barrel. She was trying to, she was trying to get her barrel cracked. No, man. So, I was cracking your barrel. That's how your shirt got all ripped and torn well, up. And then you was trying to tell me that I can't put my hands on you. But when I when I put my name on the paper and I married you, that mean I put my hands on you anytime I want. But now, you can't do it back because you get arrested. Now, David, listen. This is the one thing I'm going to tell you. You wearing that dumb hat and you're you trying... You're wearing this dumb hat. Da Daisy, don't, don't touch my hat, girl. I will crack your barrel. Listen here, Dookie. I whooped your butt behind the shed, in the shed, on top of the shed, and I cracked your barrel up so good that your shirt done came down, and I tore out all the salt. Daisy, we got people watching. You can't just be pulling down my, my, my thing, letting everybody see my thing. They don't care about your little nipples. You can't say that on here, Daisy. Little pepperonis. You can't say it. Listen, I got to fix my, fix my thing together like this because it's getting crazy. It got crazy out in that shit when I took him back there. He lucky I ain't get my shotgun. Yo, listen, I told you, the next time you shoot at me with that gun, you better kill me dead, Daisy, because I'm going to crack your whole barrel. The only barrel you're going to be cracking is the one that's on your head from my gun. Listen, I'm tired of you always threatening my life. I I'm, wouldn't have to threaten my I'm, life if you knew how to treat a woman. I'm going to take you back to the little village that I met you at. That little village? That little vi When I met you in that little village. That little was, village was the best place you ever done no, with because you met me. No, Daisy. That little village was this poor little town. I don't no, see you pushing no, no, that little bro. cart. And I looked at you and said, you know what? I think you could come home with me because... I got some dishes for you to wash, and I'll also give you a little hug every now and then, make you feel good. <laughs> Y'all believe that nonsense? He over here speaking about, he came to my house, I, knocking on my door, talking about, I'm looking here for a wife because I need some more help me out. Cause that I don't is, know how that to, is. I don't know how to cook, clean, or do that. That is not the truth. Girl, I make the best oodles and noodles that you don't ever have. So you can't say I don't know how to cook. You love the way I make my oodles and noodles. And when I just put the cheese on the grill, cheese on the bread, and then I warm it up, mmm. And more ill. Listen, all I know is you know that you fell in love with me. I seen you in the little village pushing the cart, and I walked by and said, Listen here, gal, you come with me, I'm going to change your life up. No, man. And what you did... You looked me in the eyes and you said, I'll do anything you say to be <laughs> next to you. you heard him. That's what you said. That's what that, you said. That's what you said to me. Now, I, you got your words uh, mixed up there. Now, listen you here. You see my horse? You see me riding my horse and my hair was blowing in the uh, wind. And you was like, oh, my God, I was loving that she bounced on me like that. And that's when that, I came up to you and told you, you can't handle this ride because I'll give you the best ride of your life. Baby. And then you turned around and was like, oh, man, you got to marry me, girl. First of all. That's what happened. First of anyway, all. Anyway, we got these here comments that you ain't going to get to. The, get to the comments down, girl. We, you know, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to these comments. Got me looking like I'm wearing a bra. Uh, Josh said, hey man, not much. Just got off work. Tish said, Lord, LOL. Frank said, oh brother, LOL. Tish said, boy, bye. You ain't Big Show or Cena, LOL. Ripping beaters and shit, LOL. Ray Stone said, time out. Frank Brower, Brower, he put a hat the face. And Tish said, damn, I feel like I'm watching the scene from the hillbillies, LOL. Tish said, I'm so confused. Dave said, yippee ki mother effer, in my Bruce Willis voice. Nikki said, you two really know how to make me laugh. Tish said, y'all both need to stop, LOL. Nikki said, Daisy owns your man card. Left my ass off. And Tish said, wow. LOL. Now, now let me just rebuttal a little bit to some of those comments. Now, 
First of all, hey, little aunt. First of all, Chad need to go somewhere and sit the hell down. That's first of all. Second of all, that girl Tish, she ain't never done did nothing in her life that was important. So all she could do is sit back and talk about me, but I got the gun show. See, when I pull out the gun show, I don't need to be like a John Cena or a wrestler. I need to be like the guy who holds things down and have Daisy wanting to come to the the the, the bedroom to go to sleep at night. That's about all we're doing. We're going to sleep unless I'll be doing the work. Now, and listen. Look, Tish said we are rated and shit falls. Now, that's right. This in here is an adult show. Now, listen, Tish, if you can't handle what you see on the Daisy and Duke show, I don't know what you're going to do. You've you, you seen HBO before, I'm sure. I mean, listen, listen, listen here, Dookie. Frank said I got you by your balls. Listen. Frank always trying to start trouble. You know how he is. He just want to spark things up so you could get your barrel cracked. Look, y'all, don't it look like he need a bra? Get on out of here, Daisy. He part of the itty bitty titty committee. Get on <laughs> out of here, Daisy. <laughs> look at that tit ass. <laughs> Daisy, you got a joke for us this Yo, week? Or you got, do you got a joke this week? Or do you got one of them TikTok things you do? I got a TikTok hair, Kashon. Let's just let... Let Daisy show you one of her TikToks, or sometimes she do a little joke. You guys been watching, you know, she, she salt and pepper shake you with these jokes a little bit. How you hold it up there? I, I got it, Daisy. Just, hold on, hold on. You got to turn you it to the press, side. press that one. All right, guys, you're going you gonna to see this one right here. Hey, how's the Carol Baskin song go? Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. Whacked them. You can't tell me it didn't happen. Tiger snacking. Carol. <laughs> I don't listen. That's about the dumbest damn thing I don't ever seen. But it make people laugh and people love it. And you know. And if y'all don't know what that's from, if you ain't heard of it yet, it's the Netflix documentary called Tiger King. That thing is. Super. Listen, I tell you this. One time I met Joe Exotic, and he was trying to get me to sell him a blue flamingo, and I was like, Joe, I'm not getting rid of my flamingo because it, everybody loved to come see my flamingo. He wanted that bird. Uh, Dave said you need some triceps too. LOL. Chad <laughs> said, Yup. LOL. Tish said I got something important for y'all. What's important that you doing but talking smack? And I know HBO just well. Taxi can taxi cab confessions and real sex ain't got nothing on this. And Bill Marie Medina is watching. What's up? Doing? Going on, girl. Ain't see you in a long time around these parts, but it's good to have you tuning in to the Daisy and Duke. This here is our short segment. We get back to the real stuff after this. Like That's this. right. You know, the real topics of the show. This is just to break up the monotony. This is that icebreaker when you just sitting home thinking about what I'm going to do because I can't go to work no more because I'm sitting home with all the kids going crazy and I don't know what to do. And then you get here, Daisy, and you get Duke, and we come on here and just make it feel all pleasant and like. And she ripped my shirt. Oh, God. You ripped your own shirt on the damn well, camera. I was, I was upset because you ripped, you ripped it a little bit, and I figured it's already torn up, so I might as well just go all Hulk Hogan on them. You know that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. All right. Extra. Well, well listen, so I, extra. Listen, I got, I got to put some clothes on, so uh. So we'll be right back. <clears throat> Put on my spectacles. All right, cool, cool. What's the next topic? Um, Josh said, ain't nothing wrong with no country boy if you're still sitting next to him in a bed. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys, so the last thing on the list. Um, all right, cool. You good? <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm good now, I'm good now. Why you look like you're going to rob somebody? Um, so last thing, guys, is the first place you're going 
I feel like I'm not calling That was from Josh Ware. Yeah, but the, it's funny because travel ban is like the thing Trump was trying to do to stop people from coming in and out of the country. Well, that's what but he this is in the comments. Yeah, but so my buddy Josh Warren was saying, what's the first thing you're going to do once um, the travel quarantine? Yeah, the quarantine is over. So like um, me personally, uh, or both of us, one thing we love to do is we love to eat. We love to go out to eat. And we love to um, uh, go to the movies. The movies is like our number one thing. We just love to do sometimes. We get out the house, leave the kids, and we go eat. Um, I think he was talking about like out of the country. Or like out of the state. Huh? Well, I'm taking it as just once you're able to actually... Because he actually like travels. Yeah, but... That's not, like, feel, like everybody isn't, like, a traveler like that, so right, I feel well, like... we'll just keep it where it's just, yeah. what will you do that you can't do now, like, yeah. travel-wise? And Nikki said, have a party at her house. I'm coming. Yeah, listen, Nikki, we love coming to your house. We always have a good time, even if you're not good at Jenga. Uh, you're not good at Jenga either. Uh, I'm real good at Jenga. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. After, anyway. After you can travel places... Right. I would like to go to the mall. Oh, man, I forgot about the mall. Yeah. I want to go to the mall, and I want to do some shopping slash window shopping. G shopping. And I want to um, get chicken banging, yo. Oh, they got to explain G shopping. So she want to do some G shopping. That's when you go to the mall and look at stuff and say, gee, I wish I could afford this. Yeah, but I want Gee, I wish I could get too. that. Yeah, but I want to actually buy stuff, too. All right, so, Dave, same here as what? Party, mall, movies, or dinner? Which one were you saying same here to? Or all of the above. Yeah. I personally just miss going to the movies and I miss going out to eat. You know, those are my two things. You know? Yeah, because we did that the most. Yeah. And it was interesting um, for my birthday is when we just simply went and we got dinner and sat. <laughs> God bless you. Corona. <laughs> Coronavirus, getting real. <laughs> but yeah, we just sat in my car and ate. What's up, Kyrie? Kyrie, oh, Nikki, man. Nikki said girls' night. Yes, we could. We could definitely do a girls' night. That would be cool. Uh, Frank said all of the above. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> man, this whole situation is crazy. And you, would, if somebody told me a year ago. Hey, what if next year you had a couple months off of work and you could just chill? You'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, hell yeah. But this is weird, man. You got look, guys. You guys see my video where I'm growing my Corona uh, COVID nineteen beard. So I told myself I'm not gonna shave. Oh wait, somebody said don't call that a beard. It's a goatee. So I'm not gonna shave until I start working. So this thing is gonna just get thicker well, Dave said and longer. Dinner. Frank said, God bless you. To me. Thank you, Frank. Oh. So Did I sneezed? Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Um, well, we were saying how going out to eat and, and the then movies. I said the mall. Right. Oh, yeah. So the mall, we go to the Chinese place at the mall. It's called Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo. And we always say chicken banging, yo. Chicken banging, yo. Because the little Asian dude that hands you the samples. Mm-hmm. He he would always get people to come up there and get the samples. He was like the best little. Sports. He would be like real like, loud chicken banging, and yo. obnoxious. Chicken banging, yo, and everybody like real loud. You'd be over there like, and people just crowding around because he was funny and it, the food tastes good too. Mhm. Mm Their food is real good. Yeah, and that's in uh, Philadelphia Mills. Yeah. Oh, uh, Frank Browers Brower. Why can't I say your last name right no, today? Just say Frank. All right, Frank said. Red Robin. Yo. <laughs> I only ever ate at Red Robin's once, and Dave said date night. I don't think I ever ate at Red Robin. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, Dave said date nights with his baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need to double date Dave. Hey. Yep. Make it happen with his fiance, right? And Nikki said, actually, I would love to have a girls' trip over a weekend, Sandy, if you're interested. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. No, you know what? 
So, Nikki, one of the things we did when we got married was we said we wouldn't do any sleepovers. Like, we could go out late, hang out, but we wouldn't um, stay the night away from each other. So that's just, and I believe she came up with it first, and I went along with it. So, um, mm -mm, ain't none of that. Listen, we could do, like, a girls weekend where we just make daily trips. We just go to a different place each day over the weekend. But we just don't spend nights. You know what song is in my hair, in my head? No, but I see you bobbing your head like this. Carol Baskin killed her husband, smashed him. No, you were saying smashed him. <laughs> it's not smashed him. Carol Baskin killed her, killed her husband, husband, whacked, whacked him. him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. happen. Fed him to the tigers, now they snacking. Carol, Carol Baskin. Baskin. What's happening? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that part. Yeah, Dave, we've never been there before. we got to go there. Taste of soul in Burlington. Look, double date. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Hold on. And what did uh, Nikki say? Oh, girl. Okay. If she you said, oh, yeah. I seen it. She said, oh, You're she right don't now. trust you. Huh. See? Uh, no, it's not that. And I, I don't trust like... her either. No, it's not that. It's just we don't like to spend nights away from each other. Like, we've been... Doing that for how many years now? Oh, we do that to spend the night away from each other. That ain't what it is. You just don't want me to be out there. Oh, God. Please keep your things up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of trust. We just would rather not put ourselves in a bad situation. I mean, that's about as good as I can explain it. Listen, once upon a time, she was a stripper, right? And she used to be going crazy, just, you know, and then it went from stripping to prostituting, and I was like, listen, girl, I was uh, cool with you uh, stripping, uh, but I ain't gonna be uh, cool with you selling yourself, and uh, so then I couldn't take it anymore, uh, and that's why we had to say, listen, no, you can't be out there no, just doing all them no. crazy things anymore, because that ain't gonna listen, work for listen, me, listen, because listen, I would listen, take listen. that ring and just throw it down the drain. Shut up. This ain't Sorry. dookie hour. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I'm going to show you who the real stripper is, okay? Oh, God. Okay. All right. Y'all take a look at this here, and you tell me who's the stripper in this house. Somebody come to the floor. Hey. It feels like we met before. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a strip. So, uh, who hey. was stripping hey. and prostituting Hey, herself? hey, hey, hey. You. First of all, that's on the snap it was no tiktok account that you created you made me do that first of all you so believe him he's th so this is the ridiculous. stuff that i do so for my ridiculous. wife so at the end of the day you gotta give me credit um it was with tish tish said rayaki is good and the scene of naruto and bleach is awesome in there nobody watched those whack cartoons Nikki said, that's understandable. Dave said, we're down like Charlie Brown from Uptown, LOL. And Frank <laughs> said, laughing my ass off, where's the ripped pants? <laughs> ripped jeans with the slashes in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, wait. What was our uh, last topic anyway again? The travel thing. Oh, the travel thing. About it. Yeah, so yeah, everybody pretty so, much. Trying pretty much that it. was it. We covered all our topics. Yeah. And it was cool because we and just Tish said, "Yo, lol." <laughs> see, Tish, see the stuff that I'm being I'm being forced to do. He's out there prostituting himself, she, trying to blame it on me. She's my pimp. No, no. You know, not even. So believable. you guys can inbox me if you got them <laughs> ones. You know, uh, just make sure don't. you it's three ones, so I can at least get one dollar, and she'll take two. You know. Yeah, I get. I gotta get more money. Bitch better have my money. It's crazy. This is this is what I deal with, you know? Dave, yeah. you're going to have to come rescue me, man. Nikki said, did you rip your pants dancing like at the Christmas party? No, I didn't. <laughs> that would have been yeah. interesting. Oh, man. Especially my, from that angle. My life. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Especially from that angle. Oh, man. The way the camera was up like this, you would have seen it all. <laughs> I'm blessing right now. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, so uh, what else you want to, you know, finish this thing off talking about? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we've been on there for a little bit. Of, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Uh, you got a little carried away today. Yeah, I just want to say, you know what, this is fun. We have a lot of fun doing this. You guys are a lot of fun commenting, and it's just cool. It's almost like Nikki said, we hang out with people through social media, and my husband acts like a whack job. Anyway, so, yeah, it's been really fun, and it's cool just to, you know, look forward to Thursdays and our topics and everybody chiming in, and we read all the comments and have a good laugh, you know? Uh, Dave said, I bet he's charging half price, LOL. <laughs> and Tish said, well, hey, he came out talking about HBO. He felt that he was doing a back-in-the-day scene from Cut, or thing cut out. But <laughs> no, there it's telling us it's time to go. Let's cut it <laughs> Oh, man. All right, well, look, guys, it was definitely fun. Um, I think it was cool because we picked topics that you guys wanted to talk about. So just keep giving us more topics. Um, because yeah, we'll cover anything and we want to, uh, like I stated from the beginning, this is an interactive where we want to have you guys included. So we love to, you know, have the rebuttal and going back and forth and actually just being able to choose topics that you guys come up with and actually put your name out there saying that you came up with these topics. Cause remember when this gets uh, created into a video that's put on YouTube and there's people who don't know me from Facebook or don't personally know me is actually watching this and you guys are like part of the stars of the show. So. Yeah, you guys keep the entertainment flowing. So definitely. Definitely cool. Yeah. And, uh, All right, well. I think that's it. That's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And, um, yeah, with that said, I hope you guys have a good night. And Listen, you were ripping your shirt off, and my boob keeps trying to pop out. So, yeah, it's a little R-rated in here tonight. Listen, and uh, don't forget, you'll get a little dosage of Club COVID-19 this Saturday. So, You'll just stay tuned for the, the pop-ups that come up on Facebook <laughs> on Saturday. It'll be interesting. Yeah, I'll say that much. Maybe we might have the cops show up and be like, hey, there's too many people in there. And we're going to be like, but we all live here, officer. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, have a good night. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And now your mama knows. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And now, your mama knows.